All right, let's get this bad boy started. Oh. That's that. Hello. Hi, my name is Brendan, and this is Axman Origin and Weekly Writing Web Show. Hello, what's everyone up to? What's going on? How are things? How are things? Yeah, I uh, I went to a wedding, so I uh, I shaved. Don't you worry, the beard will be back soon enough. Soon enough. Uh, what the? Oh, there we go. That was odd. I want to continue um, working on Fear the Siren. I don't do NaNoWriMo. Um, I didn't even remember that it was. I don't do that though. I'm not good enough to finish a novel in a month, so <laughs> I don't even try. Don't even try. Also, I'm not sure I'm really at that level yet of, of being a full-blown novelist. I'm still in the short form version. I doubt it. I don't have time. I don't have time. There are too many other things. The best I ever did at NaNoWriMo was I got 17,000 words when I, uh, one time I did it in high school. You're right though, and I'm, big, I'm a big proponent of that, of, you know, if you put a few words down every day, it's eventually going to get finished. That's sort of 15 minutes a day school. I mean, fair enough. Uh, I don't need any writing software, though. Because I pretty much have all the writing software I need. The only thing I'd be interested in is if there was a...
Uh, I'm looking at the. Uh, I'm looking at the thing. Uh, Hob Scrivener, no problem. I've heard Ulysses is good, but I don't have a Mac. I actually like Sorius too. But again, no, I don't have a Mac, so. Yeah. I don't know. I don't have Max. I like the idea of Storius, if I'm not mistaken. But I might be thinking of something else. Oh, I'm totally thinking of something else. <laughs> That's fine. What else? I like it. I like it a lot. Um, I'm not sure how far behind it is, to be honest. Uh, I know you mentioned that before, where they're re releasing a new version, right? But that being said, I wasn't sure. Um, so I know the I know the Windows and the Mac versions use different version numbers, but I wasn't sure if that was because the Windows version is just newer. So where this one coming out will be Scrivener 3, right? But I'm wondering if they're going to be releasing Scrivener 2 for PC. And that would basically be 3. But because it's a version behind, it would still be 2 in the Windows numbering. That makes sense. I like the PC version, I like it a lot. I wish there was an Android version of the app. I know that it's a possibility in the future, it's not a done deal or anything like that, uh, but it isn't super close either. Um, I know they've been working on one, but yeah. Uh, I think so, I think it's... Yeah, version 1.9.7.0, 6 October 2016. Can't introduce squares. I own no Apple devices. Not a single one. So, uh... <laughs> yeah. Well, in my opinion, and maybe this is a biased opinion, but in my opinion, Android is easier to program for in a certain sense, but also harder to program for in a certain sense. The easy part is, is I think the software itself works a lot better. It's just easier uh, to, to program. But because there's so many different types of Android devices, that's where you really run into problems. And I know, and I also know that the big problem with the iOS version was not 
uh, so much. Like the a, a lot of the problem with the iOS version was that he had terrible contractors who w- weren't doing their job properly. You know what I mean? Like it just. Yeah. (laughs) Okay, I see. I see. So my question is then, am I right about the, um, like when they release the new version, is there going to be a new version of the Windows one that will have all the same updates? Are they at the same level? Yeah. See, I I knew there was a whole thing about the iOS developers. Yeah, like, that's the thing, is the whole issue with the iOS stuff was not so much that iOS is particularly difficult or anything like that, is that there was a whole shitload of junk that happened. Oh, totally. I mean, the Android, the Android community is built in a very different way uh, than the iOS community, for sure. I suspect if it happens, it won't be him who does it. It'll be a second, like a second or third team who develop it. Um, I'm not, I'm like... Okay, yeah. So so they're going to do a staggered release where they release 3, get it nailed down properly, and then they'll release a PC version of 2, which will have all the updates. I'm assuming. I'm assuming that's what you're saying. I personally think it would be better if they just matched them. But I don't know if that would happen. I just find it less confusing that way. <laughs> that, you know, we can, we can directly compare and say this version is the Windows version of that version. And it's the same and whatever. I'm not surprised. Uh... The same thing happened when Final Draft released an iOS version of their software where you could like read scripts on the go. It like blew up. And Final Draft is another one that like literally has stated they will never develop for Android because it's too hard for them to do pagination on all the Android devices, which I think just sounds like terrible programming. But you know, what else? I've always been a PC guy. Well, I mean, I built my own computers and stuff, 
so. Uh, what was I? No, I, I agree with that. I, I agree that it's a lot easier to pirate Android, for sure. And I agree that the the community there is very different. Um, I find the Android community to be, tend to be more of an open source, like freeware sort of idea versus iOS, which tends to be a paywall sort of idea. So I agree. I think they're different communities. And I can understand from a development standpoint why that, like, why they make the decisions they do. It's also a matter of uh, control. Uh, as someone who sells, like, sells iPads and whatever at work and stuff, like, the real selling point to to uh, iPads and all that. No, no, no for sure. Um, the the real success I think for for uh, for Apple in what they do is that they have a very strict control of their technology. Let's go, on. Let's go into story time mode for a bit there. So they, they have a very strict control of their technology. They only use, they use the same, like the same types of motherboards. They use the same types of RAM. Like they're very specific and controlled in their hardware. So when they develop their, their IO, like their operating systems, they, are very very stable in general I mean obviously it's impossible to test for a billion cases and that's why you end up with bugs and whatever but they're very very stable and it's easy to program them because you know there's two sizes of, of iPads there's a, or sorry three now I guess there's a there's the iPad Pro there's the the 9.7s and then there's the 8s like so that your minis whatever and then Like, so they can easily control iterations and it's easier to program for that platform. Whereas Android, you have, you know, like, this is Android. And then like my phone is Android, which is not actually here. And then my watch is Android. And you know, there's like all these different types of Android and sizes. So, you know, even in the iPhones, there's really only, I think, three sizes of iPhone. If I'm not mistaken, I think one to three are kind of all the same size, and then uh, every then there's two bigger ones after that, or whatever. I don't know, whatever. I'm not, I'm not an Apple guy, but yeah, like so they they they're very controlled in screen size. You don't have to have the multi scaling ability of an Android app, uh, so they become harder to program in a certain sense. I think the development base is extremely similar because I believe, if I'm not mistaken, uh, and I could be very wrong about this, but I have looked at them in the past, I believe they're both um, Java-based. Yeah, exactly. They're, they're the same ratio to a certain extent, right? Like, so they end up being a similar scale and easy to scale. Yeah. For sure. And then, yeah, so Android is not like that. Android, you have to kind of have different proportions for different screen sizes and, and sales, like scalers. Uh, they have tools for that that work really well, but it is a something you have to think about from a design perspective. Um, for sure. And I agree with you that that's why Macs are kind of failing uh, because as software becomes more and more multi-platform, losing that, that customization or having to spend a lot more money for the same hardware 
becomes a less viable option, right? Like back in the days before Adobe bought everyone out, uh, a lot like you used a Mac. Lots of people use Macs. The Macs had the best film editing software. They had the best um, recording software, all that stuff. It's no longer the case. All that stuff, all those really good good software suites are either multi-platform now or have been eclipsed by other companies that do the same thing but better. Uh, the specific example I can think of is Adobe Premiere is now the editing suite that people use. Whereas it used to be Final Cut. Final, like the film industry swore by Final Cut. And that's not the case anymore. Final Cut 10 kind of was not that great. And, and lost them a lot of their market share uh, to things like the Adobe product. And if you're gonna use an Adobe product, you don't have to use it on a Mac. It works just as well on a PC. Um, yeah, exactly. There are a lot more people using Final Cut Pro 7, even to a certain extent 8, uh, than 9 or 10, by far. And, and uh, like Final Cut is not gone. It's just, it's just, it doesn't have the presence it once did. It's not the be all to end all of film editing softwares. Um, yeah, <laughs> Final Cut 10 was, was really bad. Um, well, and that's also the thing is Apple used to come with lots of cool software like GarageBand and, and there's photo stuff and it doesn't anymore it, not in the same way and and yeah Final Cut's really bad really bad almost everyone I know um, a lot of them use Premiere a few of them use uh, some other stuff there is one that was pretty good that I know people are using. I know, yeah, people do use Avid. Um, Uh, actually, uh, my friend was telling me the other day that the iPhone makes up the vast majority of their sales by far. Uh, iPad and MacBooks are around the same percentage of their revenue. Um, they really make their money from... The iPhone, for sure. And that's cool. Uh, I didn't... I know there are definitely professionals using Avid. Um, I know people who do use it in town. Um, so uh, yeah, totally. I know there's one other one that was doing really well and I can't remember what it was. Oh, I know there's some people using DaVinci. That's definitely a thing. Not very big, but people do use it. Oh, Sony Vegas. People use Sony Vegas. Um, 
that's definitely something people use. I know what you mean. I have stubble. It's not like there's nothing there. Whatevs. My five o'clock shadow. So the question is now, do I attempt to do NaNoWriMo? That's like hardcore though. I don't know. I don't know if it's for me. Yeah, well, that's not happening. I like my glasses too much.
What do you mean, drive for NaNoWriMo? Well, you've explicitly stated that you would not be able to do many of the things I do for very long. You wouldn't be able to play an RPG, you wouldn't be able to... Which is funny, because if you think about it, how long did you spend working on uh, the llamas, or on your uh, Murkreep story, or uh, image? Yeah. Too bad? I don't know. I don't know what to say to that. Drone is just sassy because he doesn't like that I shaved. It weirds her out.
slow down the bleeding.
Huh. Interesting. I'm wondering if I'm ordering this part wrong. Perhaps it would be stronger to notes here oh all the snow melted by the way there's no more snow and honestly it doesn't bother me all that much but I went to a wedding yes that's why No, it's, it was allowed, it's just, you know. My brother shaved too, like, we both shaved. It? Yeah, it looks like I dropped some frames. Is it okay again? The only thing I can think of is Berenstein Bears. But I'm not sure if that's what you mean. Or even that's what you're asking.
not quite sure what's going on. That's okay. That's okay. What would you guys think if I, um... Well, there's two things I noticed and I'm looking at my notes here. Uh, the first one is, I'm not really, I'm wondering if him getting wounded should be after she get, takes the air. And the other one is, is I'm pretty sure that I find the siren's reaction weird. Simply because I feel like she would resort to her, like, first weapon immediately and then go for the physical. Like, it seems odd to me that she doesn't start singing until after. But I suppose if you think about it, it'd be weird if, like, would she sing and fly at the same time? Like, does that make sense? Not sure.
think I should. I think I should reorder it. say it's a struggle I'm just considering my options you know like how I want to present it I've been reading a lot more lately uh, again which is good um, so I'm a film guy so I tend to watch a lot of movies so I've been reading a lot more in the last few uh, last week or so which is good because I need to expose myself more to stuff um, So part of that is just, you know, looking at people's style, uh, figuring out what they do effectively and what what I could do better. Uh, I know you guys have mentioned it a little bit more, uh, especially Sam, uh, who's at work right now, so can't be here, uh, that I have a tendency to be very lean with description and certain things like that. And then when I read, uh, when I listen to like, I've been getting back into graphic audio, which is my favorite audiobook company, uh, where I listen to, you know, what they do with description and inflection and, and like stuff like that and realize that my favorite parts of books are those descriptions or the way that they describe things, the way that they tell the story. And then looking at my own work and being like, well, I don't do that. So why don't I do that? What What's different about my writing? You know? And then... Well, last night I was having like a uh, sort of like Korean thriller marathon on Netflix and I watched two really solid movies and one okay movie I'm not sure if I liked it or not I'm not sure I disliked it either <laughs> uh, it just kind of ended up in this weird place of being like I wonder if with a d different director, it would have been great, like absolutely awesome because they had strong characters and they had strong, strong characters. And I thought the plot was okay. I just thought that it was, it felt like two different movies at times where like, there was like this weird stylish, like stylish, like gross sort of element and then there was this other part that was like really really neat of uh, like Korean period drama stuff you know that worked really well <laughs> thanks Ronnie um, so yeah, like, it's weird, right? Where, like, I think that movie was good. Like, I, I feel like half of it was awesome, and the other half was just kind of, look. And I'm not sure if I like the movie or not. So again, I, like, going for full circle, I kind of feel like that way with my own writing in a certain sense right now, where... There's parts of it that I like, like I like, I like my plot and I like my characters and I like certain things, but at the same time I'm missing, like I've gone for this like almost stylish, stylistically different sort of piece and I'm wondering if the style is detracting.
from what it could be um, in a lot of ways. So I don't know. And then I guess the question is, is do I edit this piece to be a different style or do I write something else and see if I can improve my style? You know, have I found my prose style yet? My, pro my style as an author? So I don't know. If anyone has any opinions, feel free to let me know about that. <laughs> I'm happy to have a discussion, uh, as you know. <laughs> um, but I am going to take a, uh, a 10 minute break here. Uh, so if you have any comments or ideas or, or want to talk about that stuff, uh, please, please do uh, when we get back. Uh, so yeah, go into a break. See y'all in about five minutes. 